and then i started the barista course i did the coffees everything manual brewing frappuccinos smoothies <laughs> I was bad <laughs> and for me I love media so everything I would do I share mm. by the way I love media so much hey beautiful people welcome back to my channel my name is sherina awari so i'm heading out it's about 7 45 if i'm not mistaken and i'm heading to nakawa where we roast from that is a volcanicity roastery barista academy so we have a coffee talk what to expect is we are going to be learning more about coffee lots of things to do with coffee anything to do with coffee right now you have my attention you have my time you got me okay so Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel and I'm going to be letting you see what really took place. It's going to be a good day. So we pray that God blesses this day and everything moves to our favor. Amen. Love you all guys. Enjoy. So it's threatening to rain, but I hope it doesn't rain. <laughs> Anyways, even if it rains, the place is well sheltered so <coughs> so it is what it is guys it is what it is I'm already at the roastery.
all the way, she didn't come back on this freaking track. This is something that I started two years ago and right now I'm really very happy and I'm very proud of the person I'm becoming. So this could not be, uh, I couldn't achieve this without coffee. So what I can say is that coffee has changed my life and I hope that uh, the words I will tell you today and the things that you're going to pick up today will change your life too. Maybe it may already be changed, but I, I hope it will make an impact. So, but we shall, as we dive deeper into uh, communication, uh, we shall look at others that are called experimentals, see if you process it like this, how does it turn out to be. So, when I talk of natural, uh, it's the traditional processing method, where you pick the cherries, you float them in water, remove low density cherries, and then, you dry them on a tap leaf, or what we call a tundu valve. And after it, after it dries, you take, you take it to a milling station, you peel off that black skin, and then you remain with the green beans. And then after it determines the cup taste and quality in the cup, and the chemical changes that are in the green beans of coffee. And all these chemical changes, uh, all, all these chemical components in the coffee, Begin right, begin right away from the farm, depending on the way you have taken care of the coffee, the soils that you have grown the coffee in, the harvesting methods, uh, the farm practices, then the manure you have used, uh, then uh, the period in which you have unpicked the coffee, all those things affect the cup quality after roasting coffee. So. When I talk about roasting coffee, I would say, in simple terms, I would say that uh, roasting, co coffee roasting is the process through which the green beans are subjected to heat to induce both chemical and physical changes in order to make the coffee consumable. I'm guessing all of you have seen green beans, right? Okay. So, when we harvest the cherries from the farm, that is just the first step of value addition. You have added value to this coffee cherry by hand picking it from the tree. Because if you don't hand pick it, it's going to rot and then it will dry. That means it will be of no use to you. So when you notice that your cherries have ripened, you hand pick them, then process them in, uh, in, a, in a way that to plant. Now, after you are planted, how do you ensure that you get the best you produce the best. Uh, uh, then we talk about breeding, and it is in screen, screen 18, 16. Now, how do you attain those at farm level? If you have bigger beans, screen 18, essentially at a farm level, it means you have already added value to your coffee. Because if my outturn, um, screen 18, if I can have 70%, the beans giving me a uh, good brand. I call it beautiful because I love what I do. I'm a passionate farm girl. So 
I personally studied agribusiness management from Bukala Agricultural College. So after I immediately my course, I didn't sit there. I carried on to go and study a course of barristing and roasting, and that was through an organization called Absi Foundation that killed me. So that was December 2021. That's when I started this project. And then, how long was the course? The course it was one month. I just did barristing. I just did barristing. That was one month. So from there, uh, it's where I met Mr. Gerard Katawazi here at Volcano Coffee. And I started roasting from here. They took me through different skills, like to learn more. Beans. So finally, when we take and buy this quality from the dealers, then we start to grade it. Grading gives it the quality, all right? You'll pardon me, I've never spoken before more than two people. So I feel like I'm online. So for you to make me feel like this is a real... <laughs> I'm gonna ask us to interact. Eh? So I have a question for you. What do you understand by quality? Quality? Yes, sir? Uh -huh. Quality. Anyone else? To talk about coffee, I'm not a coffee farmer. I don't have any coffee background at home, although the neighbors would grow coffee. And uh, I remember around 2011, I went to Ngogo, the showground. I saw people doing coffee. I was so much interested. I didn't know where to start from. I took contacts, I took this and that, but I went and kept them back at home. But one of the things that I saw recently in my suitcase was the coffee policy that I picked. I read through, but I didn't go any further.